Welcome, welcome, Cosmic Soul. This is Laura Teo, intuitive coach, professional astrologer, and energy healer. And I want to dive today into the cosmic influences for the next couple of weeks, especially with all these retrogrades happening alongside with some powerful Virgo energy. So first, um, well, this um, insight is for the rest of the August. So from August 20, 20th until September the 2nd. There's a couple interesting things because, well, Mercury is going to, um, hold on a second, I want to show you this. Yeah, here it is, Mercury. In Virgo, is going to go retrograde from August 24th uh, to September 15th. And this is uh, definitely a headline act. So Mercury, um, when it goes retrograde, it's very known for steering up some communication challenges, but in this meticulous sign of Virgo, it is a perfect time for a couple of things. Uh, Self-reflection, uh, let me write that down. Self-reflection and um, fine tuning details in our life. Fine-tuning the details in our daily life with the purpose of improving things. And for making things better and to create impeccability. So making things impeccable because that's what Virgo does. So making things impeccable in the way we think. Uh, in the logistics of our day, in our day-to-day -day routines. So that's Mercury retrograde. Giving us that opportunity to go reflect. But we really need to mention that there's a whole lineup of retrogrades. So if you see here, Lilith is in retrograde. Let me just, Lilith is retrograde. Um, we mentioned Mercury. We have also Venus uh, retrograde. We have Chiron retrograde, Neptune retrograde, Saturn is retrograde, and also Pluto is retrograde. All of those things are retrograde. So this is quite um, cosmic slow dance for sure. And retrogrades often encourage us to revisit things. Let's revisit what we need to look at. Uh, let's reevaluate our life. Let's reevaluate the things that are related to those planets, right? So we can adjust, so we can course correct, so we can change um, what is not working, but because in order to course correct, we need to reflect on the things that are not working. To make the necessary adjustment, first we need to recognize them. So with all of these planets in retrograde, it's really like the universe is giving us a cosmic review session. Another thing um, that I want to reflect on is the Virgo stellium happening. So let me just change this. These, so if we see here, we have a lot of Virgo. So we have uh, Mars in Virgo, Mercury uh, and Lilith and the sun also in this earth sign. And Virgo is the it's an earth sign that is the archetype that preserves the order so everything that is the sacred order of the earth is virgo who who is uh, 
who is in charge of that and this being of service so sacred service is a task of virgo so virgo it's all about precision and practicality and with this energy then we have an opportunity to be again impeccable in our thoughts mercury right our actions mars and regaining our feminine power to shine through which is that lily and the sun so it is a great time to focus on self-improvement and to harness our female power to glow even brighter Interesting here is the dialogue that Mercury is having with Jupiter in Taurus. So if you see, it's a trine. So it's a, um, a positive dialogue. Um, it is a green light for learning and for teaching. Um, this gives a lot of vibes of confidence and, pos and positivity. And we might really receive good news that even moves us forward and moves us towards um, our life goals. Um, our mind is going to be um, more open for expansion. A lot of possibilities open up for compliments as well with this uh, dialogue between Mercury and uh, Jupiter in Taurus. Compliments and recognition uh, may also uh, come our way, adding some extra sunshine to our days. Mercury also has um, an interesting conversation, a uh, positive conversation. I don't like to say positive or negative. Let's say um, a good dialogue uh, with Uranus in Taurus. And you know that Uranus in Taurus is, Uranus is kind of like the wild card, right? Uh, origin is to, to think outside of the box. So in this way, we can expect the unexpected, but we can embrace our inventiveness with this relationship here. Um, it's a great time to explore new connections with people that are unique and people that dare to break the status quo, to explore new activities, getting out of the comfort zone and even scouts maybe new uses of technology. So change might be unsettling for some people uh, with this Uranus, you know, is a surprise can come up as uh, something that we didn't expect. But if you embrace change, this really gives us an opportunity for a fresh spark in life. Um, we are also going to have for a, a period of time, a couple of days only, uh, the moon in Sagittarius, um, but also squaring here is querying Saturn in Pisces. So we need to be patient uh, during this brief period. Okay, we need to remember that good things come to those who wait. Things are going to come uh, at, uh, at the time, you know, they need to come. So it's more of a reminder to focus on responsibilities, being responsible. Responsibility. Um, and to be steady, be firm in our pursuit. Stay steady also. Steady. Lastly, um, I want to mention the strong dialogue between Pluto and Capricorn here and Mars in Virgo. Okay, here. So, this is, this dialogue, this conversation is all about energy and drive. So while this energy is high, it's, it's essential, essential that we channel this energy 
positively and to avoid unnecessary conflicts with people because we we can have outbursts. So let's try to just be calm and, and, and think things through in a Virgo way, right? With that Mars in, in, in Virgo. Let, let's think practical before, you know, taking a decision that is too rash. So let's avoid unnecessary conflict. Um, we can um, channel this energy maybe by learning new strategies into something that we like or maybe hitting the gym. And this can be great ways to make the most out of this fiery energy. So there you have it. Uh, this is a cosmic overview for the next couple of weeks. Embrace the retrogrades, shine with Virgo's precision, and keep an open mind for the unexpected twist and turn. It's okay. The change happens. So we need to embrace that change and um, make the best out of it. Enjoy the journey through this this uh, cosmic currents, and remember that if you want to have um, astrology consultation with me, um, or you want to have a session uh, to focus more on your purpose or to develop a prosperous business that is in alignment with your soul, you can visit my website lauratia.com to learn more about it. And don't be shy; you can book a soul alignment call that is a complimentary. Uh, session, coaching session, just to help you figure out what are the next steps for you that are in alignment with your goals and with your soul. So again, lauratio.com. Let me write it down, lauratio.com. And remember to visit me on uh, TikTok or follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube at I am Laura Thank you very much. And uh, talk to you next time. Bye.